Are you trying to find a great contractor? In this video, I'll go over some good and not so good places to find just those kind of people. In my previous video, I went over what kind of contractor is right for you. So in this video, we're moving on to step two, which is finding that contractor. I will be going over three great places to look for a great contractor. And the first one I'm gonna go over is referrals. Some of the best places to find a great contractor for you and your project are referrals because that's usually a friend, family, somebody that's had work done by them that you actually know. The nice thing about that is more than likely you can go visit the project and see it for yourself. But when you look at somebody else's job, you want to keep in mind your job may not turn out exactly like theirs because your job is not exactly the same. Also, not all personalities mesh exactly the same, so just keep that in mind when you're getting a referral from a friend or a family. And the second place to look for a great contractor is going to be online. And by online, I mean Angie's List, Google, the BBB, all those kind of review sites are great places to find somebody like that. Just keep in mind when you're looking at these reviews, some good reviews can be fake and also some bad reviews can be fake. What I mean when I say some good reviews can be fake is that Friends and families could be leaving reviews for a contractor that have actually never had any work done just to boost their ratings online. And what I mean when I say some bad ones can be fake from personal experience, we've had reviews left on our website and stuff like that that we've actually never even done work for, we've never got a call. Sometimes people get contractors confused because they call so many people and because somebody else did a bad job, they get mixed up and leave a bad review on your site. The most important thing that I think with online reviews is to read the company's response to the bad reviews. And what you're looking for there is how did the company respond to that bad review? Was the company just combative and saying the customer was wrong or does it seem like the company tried to finish the job or make the customer as happy as possible, possibly still even trying to make the customer happy? Those are some things you definitely want to read and look into. The best thing you could possibly find is a company that responds to a bad review that is still trying to make the customer happy. And the last thing you want to find is a company that's combative about that bad review that's not what you want and definitely not what you want to get into. So online I feel it's very important to take reviews with a grain of salt because even if you're the best contractor possible and you do a thousand jobs a year or even ten jobs a year, you can't make everybody happy. That's just the way of life. But one thing you can do with an unhappy customer is continue to be nice to them. And another great place to find a great contractor is going to be at one of your local home shows. One of my very favorite things about a home show is you can shake the person's hand before they even come out to your home. Keep in mind that home shows are an inexpensive lead source for contractors, so you may find all kinds of people there. So you definitely want to do your research in those other two categories. That way when you get to the home show, you already know who you're looking for. So what I really suggest is using a combination of those three things I just went over to find the best contractor for you. Take your time. I mean, you've probably lived in your house for 30 years by now, so what's another couple of weeks finding a great contractor to fit your needs? For some more information, check out the additional links I left you below. Also, if you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. In the first video I made for you was about...